But hey, thanks for that raid, Kiwis and Stars. Hey, you know what we don't have yet? A shout out for Kiwis and Stars. Boom, what were you playing? Stardew Valley. Oh, man. I need to finish Stardew Valley. Like, I have, ne I have not ever actually finished Stardew Valley. Like, I got to the point where I was making infinity money, but I was only in year two, so I never got to year three. You were playing Yakuza. Yakuza Zero. Do you ever, do you finally get to karaoke? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Oh, uh, you didn't get to karaoke? Karaoke is great. Gotta make 150 copies of these files. Brewing coffee, copying files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. What? You're a DJ as well? If I'm not mistaken, oh, desk jockey. Uh, I gotta admire your persistence, persistency, but my answer is still no. Not letting you get a chief officer, period. Hmm, if only I had a way to persuade him. Yeah, if only I had some way to get him to let me in. Take that! Hold it! No way! Mr. Edgeworth can't be serious. Is he ever not serious? <laughs> of course he's serious, and don't call me Shirley. Can't believe they're pushed him this far. Miss Edgeworth really feels responsible. Give him a donut and a cup of joe. Give him a, a jelly-filled donut, courtesy of Brock. When I first met him, I thought he was as cold as ice. But I know differently now. He trusted us detectives to provide him with sound evidence. But we just, we betrayed him. Detective. That's it, I made up my mind. Let's go break into that office. Here, take my ID card. We can't do that, if someone found out. They wouldn't let you off the hook. Look at me, I'm no secret. I'm already out of the loop. After all, I'm friends with Edgeworth. Depending on how this case turns out, I may already be as good as terminated. What? At least let me do this, for Edgeworth's sake. All right, detective, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's break in. Break into the office. What's up, Kism? How you doing? We're breaking into offices, man. Oh, that was the door opening sound. I saw there was more Sequel Fest news about One Piece Trailer Cruise. But I'll check more about that later. Hey, Alex Killer, how you doing? Anyone finds us now, Detective Gumshoe's a goner. If that happens, I'm counting on you to bail me out. Ah! Gumshoe. Why, why are you slapping Gumshoe so many times? How can she slap? I didn't even know you could slap a ghost. Gumshoe. What are you doing sneaking up on us like that? I wasn't sneaking, I was just worried something might go wrong. So I came too. What's the point you gave me your ID card? Don't do that to my card. Do we crush it? We, it's, we crushed it, right? That's what it said. I hardly ever get a chance to come in here. So I forget to look around myself. Besides, we're all in this together. You really do get fired. You really do want to get fired, don't you? Yeah, bad feeling about this. Ah, uh, yes. I also like the Star Wars prequels. Definitely on the other side of the room. Was that your sister's? Yes. That's where I was waiting for Lana. A day two years ago. Is anyone using it now? No, sir. If it's been two years. It's been two years. And they still haven't moved this desk out of the room? Ash, I saw that they got info about the anniversary. We'll probably go over that. Uh, I'll probably just talk about that on Discord or uh, during tomorrow's stream when we get back to OPTC. He practices a strict policy of preserving the crime scene. He leaves it as a warning to everyone else. He wants us to always be alert. He told us himself at our New Year's party. He was pretty intoxicated at the time. Ever since Lana left, no one's ever touched that desk. can't possibly be any clues remaining. Or are there? Can I ask you something? Sure. You only came here to look around because it's one of the SL9 crime scenes. It's your only reason for coming here, right? Why? You don't think 
No. There's no way. Let's go fart in his chair. Kiwi, have you played Phoenix Wright? Hold on. Not so fast, buddy. When someone tells you don't worry about it, it's supposed to start bothering you, pal. Don't just let it go like that. This guy's starting to get my nerves. What about what about playing Danganronpa? Playing a visual novel like Phoenix Wright makes a lot of sense to me. But have you played Danganronpa too? You two don't think Chief Gant might be a suspect. Oh fuck yeah, I do! Oh fuck yeah, I do! I bet his number is 7777420. You've never played Danganronpa. Interesting. You should fucking play Danganronpa, girl. You used to want to cosplay as a 15 year old girl? You pervert. Here you go, ignoring me again. This is a real deal, isn't it? Armor and weapons. Sure it is, pal. Sheep doesn't care for imitations. First, the pipe organ. Now this armor. Do you know how many taxpayer dollars must have gone into this room? That's it. I'm not paying one cent of my taxes. Just want to say, that's not my opinion. I pay all of my taxes. Who knows? The chief may be hiding this armor as we speak. Even if he did, he'd never be able to get back out. Cut it out. You guys don't know how scary that guy can be. How does this phone work when this is here, but it has no cable? Also, geez, Kiwi, you're so old. What are you, like, 60 years old now? When we were in here earlier, he put that paper reading on his desk. You are 60 years old. I fucking knew it. This looks like a list of evidence. In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this. <gasps> it's SL9 case. Hold on, detective. What did you say? I said, I wonder what. Normally they're twice as long? Yeah. Edgeworth said this exact same thing to us too, Phoenix. Why are you so surprised? What will the other half of the list be doing here? I knew it. The chief must be hiding something about that case. It would appear so. Oh, he just... Ha he just... Oh, he... We, we literally had... The paper's literally ripped in half. Like... It's not that it's just less information. It's just literally ripped in half. Not suspicious at all. Wow, look at the desk! Wowee! This is a safe. Nothing gets past you, Phoenix. Looks like a code's needed. Is it 77? Come on, let me enter it. I know the number. I, do, I know the fucking number. I know the fucking number. You ready? You're, uh, you're, you're fucking ready? You're fucking ready? Uh, 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 uh! Oh, Gant. You fucking scamp. <laughs> Nani? Who could that- who? Wow. One. The password. I have it. What is it? It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four? Only a moron would use that number. That's the same number on my luggage. That ID number. You're one seven shy. One thing. That's Chief Gant's ID number. It could also mean that Chief Gant's really fucking lazy. It's kind of past an idiot with using his luggage. God. Like. Gum Dick Gumshoe is such a raging clue right now. Like, ooh man, he has such a raging clue. Any money? <laughs> it's a shard of from a broken cup. 
have a question, guys. I have a question to you. Hmm? If you, gentlemen, were possibly, possibly uh, guilty of murder, or if you were guilty of murder, and you had evidence that proved you were guilty of murder, would you keep that evidence? Or dispose of it somewhere no one would ever possibly find? Keep it? Dispose of it. Keep it? Dispose of it. That's right, you keep it, because that way you can jerk it off, jerk off to it later about how clever you are. <clears throat> Something else in here, too. Looks like a piece of leather cloth. Samper it. Hey! Think Chief made of design? Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. Well, it's just a thought. What's in the say? Is it? What's in the box? A piece of cloth with a handprint on it. And a broken shard from a cup. They look like pieces of evidence. Yeah, but unless you can prove they have something to do with this case, I'm afraid I can't just let you take them. Uh. Okay. Come on! Come on! Come on! Presenting. Remember when the three of us put that back together? Ha! Ah, good times. Good times. Do you guys remember yesterday? Ah, oh, good times. You mean this one? Yeah! It's, it's EA. It's ringing a lot of bells. Assemble. Justice League! Assemble! Hmm. Do you guys think we possibly could fit this in our puzzle somehow? Hmm. Here we go. Hmm. All my years in college did not prepare me for this sort of amazing sleuthing. He concealed a piece of evidence from SL9. But, get a load of this. The piece he just attached is different from the others. Yeah. There's a reddish line. A reddish line. That's blood! I don't get it! Why would Chief Gant hide this in his safe? It's hard to make out, but there's a dark red stain. Hmm, the blood! The blood stains. On the other pieces are just spots. This one's a line. That's odd. Can we, can we, uh, can we fill in, can we connect the dots? Are you guys, are you guys ready to, to fucking connect the dots, right? It says... Drink your Ovaltine. <laughs> oh, Detective Gant, I didn't realize you were an artist, Detective Gant. <laughs> what is what is this? <sighs> oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Phoenix, 
Detective Gant, Detective Gant is an old man who sometimes likes to reminisce about his old murders. Hey, you guys remember that when I murdered that guy? <laughs> it was like this. Ooh, it was such a clever guy. You can see pretty far from 15 stories up. First, the chief wanted to use stained glass for this window. Why didn't he? He changed his mind because he wouldn't be able to see the view. Oh. The Gant was reading this near view. You should have, been, should have seen the picture in the back. What kind of police department is this? A uh, 15 story tall police department. She's worried sure is a sight to behold. Occasionally, we hear her playing it from the criminal affairs department. Second floor, it's 15 floor of an entirely different building. When a detective screws up, the chief calls him to his office, makes him listen to Oregon for hours. After that, detective can't hear anything for days except for ringing in his ears. That's like, that's actually cruel punishment. I, I, I don't know if that's legal. This was taken that day two years ago. The day Joe Dark ran out of the questioning room and tried to kill Emma. After receiving this award, Mr. Marshall took a picture here and went along with Chief Gant to question Drake. Shelves are mostly empty. Lana must have cleaned them out when she transferred over to the prosecutor's office. Small picture frame. Hey! When well, Lana and I went to the theme park. It's a little weird that... Gant just keeps a picture of a 15 year or a 13 year old girl in his uh, office, but okay. Makes you want to crash through and jump outside. Ah, uh, yes, the call of the void. I know, I was just saying. Ever since making detective, I always dreamt about doing something like that. Committing suicide? Ever since I became a detective, I've always dreamt about committing suicide. Just every day, just think how easy it would be to just let go of it all. Lana's desk. Lana's always been a meticulous cleaner. Not even any dust on it. Looks like someone's still keeping it clean. Lana ever come back here? Nope. Chief Gant just is really has a huge boner for something two years ago. Is he keeping memory of her or memory of the crime? You do the crime, you do the time. Or sometimes you're so clever at cover up a crime you keep all the evidence around and display the public. So that way everyone knows exactly how clever you are. Come on, you have the other half. Let me see it. A work desk. Yeah, but I want to look at the paper. I just want to look at the paper. Why do I think of Gumshoe? I just want to look at that paper that he was... Uh, he has the evidence list. Like, he has the evidence list. I just want to see it. I really thought we'd show him that evidence list. Hey, what do you think of this vase? The only thing I can give you is poppy seed rice set. Talk about cheap. Eat this and maybe you'll be able to tell black from white from court tomorrow. Oh yeah, can I like read this front half? No. Single stab. Weapon found and wound was missing tip. Okay, it's got we gotta be doing something here, and I think we gotta be presenting something to Gumshi right now. Looks like the right side has been torn off. Mr. Edgeworth's list really was only half of the whole thing. Something else bugged me. Take a look at the back form. 
Yeah. I did. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. Now I'm gonna look at it. What is this? Wait, that's it? Okay. Feel a lot better now that draw's complete. Only raises another question. What is the piece of doing to achieve safe? More importantly, why isn't there any money in there? So safe search for. Show gum shoes something. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's there's no way I can move it all right now, right? Can I find two year old blood? <laughs> Damn, someone needs to dry clean their fucking room. Whoa. This from that incident? Must be when Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered. Two years ago has passed and the reaction's kinda dull. The murder really did take place here. Is that the only bit of blood I can find? I think I sprayed the organ, but I don't see why blood would be on the organ. Hey, Asher Crasher. How you doing? We're looking for blood. Looking for blood! We're on day three now. Okay, let's try walking around and seeing if finding the blood triggers anything now. I'm open to suggestions about what we got to do. Okay, now we're gonna fill this in. Hmm. Really? Really, really, really? 
We know who that is! Hmm. What else has to be done here? figure out what the heck I need to present this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty, we examined it. It said, she said, like, wow, it's really old. Cutscene again. What the heck am I looking for? My brother hurt himself? Oh, that's not good. Uh, it won't let me read the front. The front is, uh, doesn't, doesn't let you read it. have to do? What do we have to do? What do we have to do, guys? What are we missing? Do you... How do you feel about this? King of Prosecutor's Award. What am I missing? 
I, I can't use the duster. There's only one thing I can actually use. And that's the Luminol Spray. Fingerprinting doesn't let me use. So like the spray, I get the option to spray. But I can't use anything else. Nothing else is usable. Oh, hey, this is neat. I've never clicked on this before. No, there's this. The only thing that saved was a broken piece of this. Yeah, it's this and the. Shit, what was the other thing? I, I can't check the stage, there's nothing in there. I it, 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 we took both of the things. There's no way I can't there's no way I cannot take it. Like it, it, it automatically gives us both things. It was the jar and I think it was the evidence list. What was what was the second thing? Oh yeah, the cloth of the handprint. Why don't we have that? That's right. Why isn't that in our inventory? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Cloth of handprint. We don't have that. Why? Where is it? Did I? Did I somehow break the game? No way. Yeah, there was a cloth of the handprint. What what happened to it? Okay, all right, take some fingerprints. Okay, okay, presenting will let us take fingerprints. Ah, okay, think there we go. All right, there we go. Fuck. So I can, yeah, I could use if I present. There we go, fuck. All right, let's get this over with. Hmm. All right, let's try another finger. Let's try a little finger. Fingerprint that I <sighs> And after all fingerprints are exactly alike with no possible differences Remember having to blow this one I remember having to blow dudes No how can this be? What are Emma's fingerprints doing here? Huh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, that's.
That's too bad. I thought they'd be Dark's fingerprints. Psst. Hey. What's going on? Don't ask me. Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. Here, maybe you should hold on to this. Oh, thanks, Gumshoe. All right, of course. Take your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. Mm. In other words, if it wasn't for his ID card, he would have been useless. Isn't that right, you in the coat? Ah, Chief Cat! Think you'd be back so soon. Fortunately, I'm a man who believes in signs. Walking to my meeting, I happened to look out the window and saw a stray dog run right into a pole. Just then I thought of a certain detective. You mean me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you all to leave. Yes, sir. Sorry. Drop off your ID on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. But, sir. Now get the fuck out of my office! We're on our way too. Wait! The one without the spiky hair. Don't go yet. No, I'm not leaving you in a room alone with a 15 year old girl! Mmm. You're free to go. Look. Look. Guys. Do not leave a man in a room alone with a 15 year old girl. That's not okay, no matter who that person is. That is not okay. Mr. Wright. Don't, 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 what the fuck? Don't leave an underage girl in a room with a man all alone. There's so many issues with that. Just had to go sneaking there, didn't you? I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. But if I knew it'd be like this, I never would have said it. I think I'm finally starting to get the picture. Why has she kept eerily silent about this the whole time? I'm gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Later, pal. After that, I heard from Emma. She said the police wanted to ask her some questions. So she'd be busy for the rest of the day. I see. So the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. No use thinking about it. Tomorrow's the final day. Everything happens in three days. I've already told you all I can. What you told me over the last couple days is absolutely nothing. Not a useful single thing. I didn't mention something quite important. I said I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. I know who it is that's lurking behind your words. Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. I seen Edgeworth was right. Edgeworth? Once you convince you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is a term he believed. No, he just called me thick. Hey, I have to admit, I was more than a little perplexed. You insisted you did it, yet there's no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. Not that you're unwilling to tell the truth, is you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. That, what's an intriguing notion, a certain individual you say? So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No, I think afraid of. If I'm not mistaken, the person in question may have persuaded you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, whom, I, may I ask, is this person you're speaking of? The one I'm supposedly so frightened of? It's your sister! <laughs> yes. You seriously believe you're saying, don't you? You seem to have the makings of a criminal on you. What with all your fallacious accusations? <laughs> oh. I've seen Game of Thrones, and I've seen what happens when a lady's in the cell next to another guy. That was hot. Take that! Take that! I still don't understand how she swivels around in her chair like this. Do not forget your place. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about what you think you know? We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he's respectable, then tell me one thing. Why would you try to hide his crimes? His crimes? Both you and Edgeworth will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. Specifically hiding and forgive, forging evidence. These are serious offenses. Why is it that Chief Gant's name was never mentioned? Chief Gant. Edgeworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. 
The only party who could have possibly tampered with the evidence was you. I had access because I was second in command of that investigation, but other Damon Gant. If you intended to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Show me proof that he falsified evidence. Well, there's a lot. Well, let's take the evidence list. I just found this in a safe in the office. This jar piece. This piece of cloth. Do you know what these are? They're a piece of the evidence. I, right. the person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all this to blame? All the blame for him? That's right. Remember, kids. Any evidence that you get, no matter how illegally obtained, is always admissible in court. Facts. Touche, Mr. Wright. Touchy. Touchy, Mr. Wright. Oh, touchy me. Is as you surmised. I cannot disobey the chief's orders. Even if it means being found guilty for murder. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. Perhaps I should say follow orders. More accurate than cooperate. Although I cannot tell you the details, I can't say I was given an order that day. I need you to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. You'll find it inside the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. <sighs> Just as I suspected, despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Edgeworth's car. The trunk's lock was broken, and I discovered the murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon! Edgeworth's knife? No, when I found the body, this knife was stuck in it. I couldn't just leave that knife in him, so I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. That would be Edgeworth's knife. That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. I want to know how you cut your hand with a knife. Like... How, what do you, how do you do that, right? Like, you have a knife, right? You want to stab a guy. Do you like, ah, oh, shit, that's the pointy end. Damn it, stupid, stupid. Seems I got blood in the victim's shoe as well. And then she saw me as I plunged a knife in. Mr. Star. Miss Star, huh? I don't know how your hand slips from here to like. Uh. You're a mil You're a trained police officer. How do you slip on your knife and cut your own hand? Unless you're like, oh, hey. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have juggled it. I don't. Didn't ever want to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. So, you hid. Dark's knife. The weapon used to stab the de detective was evidence in Joe Dark's case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day. So you wrapped a knife in your scarf and hid it. In Edgeworth exhaust pipe. Right. Then I called my sister. To tell her what happened and ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. I didn't want anyone in the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma is so confident about Lana's innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them these days. The truth is, after I received his orders from Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Marshall! Why on earth would you call him? The lead investigator for SL9 had, had been murdered. I wanted the fact to be kept hidden and I needed help. He was the only one of the person I could trust. At least, I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade of his own. You mean... Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. He disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He did this in a matter of minutes. Like, like, after he got the phone call, he decided, oh shit. Time to disguise myself as another man, steal his ID card, and get in there and get out in minutes. Holy shit. What a guy. Still made up mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts we had to disappear. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Phone call caused the incident in the evidence room. Here she is, sitting backwards in the chair. Lana, you've earned my respect, Mr. Wright. 
both as a detective, a defense attorney, and an investigator. Now please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. I've got to get to the bottom of everything. Detective Goodman's real murder. And what went down two years ago. Final trial time. Oh yeah, we're in a final stretch, boys. 